Hey everyone. Welcome back to Robo Request. You ask, we build. We are back with another fascinating Arduino project that brings creativity, electronics and motion together. Now this time we have built something really exciting. A 7 segment display using servo motors. Yes, instead of a regular LEDs, we are using 7 servo motors to display digits from 0 to 9 mechanically. This project is inspired by a request for amazing viewers part 2 who wanted a complete tutorial for this project. Keep your ideas coming, your project could be next. Let's dive into it. Now, here we need for this project one Arduino Uno, seven servo motor like SG90, jumper wires, a breadboard, a USB cable for uploading the code and powering the circuit, cardboard pieces or foam board for mounting, and a bit of patience and creativity. Let's start by building the seven segment layout on a cardboard sheet. Cut seven small hexagonal share pieces of cardboard or thermocol to act as the lines for segments and paste them over the shaft of motors. Now mount servo motors in such a way that it forms H like this. Use hot glue or double sided tape to mount the servos firmly. Now take the Arduino. Before moving forward, test each servo individually to find the correct 0 degree, 90 degree and 180 degree positions. Now let's download the code and library files given in the description below to test servo position. Open the code file in the Arduino IDE or you can simply write the basic codes as well. This line includes the servo library, a built-in Arduino library that makes it super easy to control the servo motors. You must add this line at the top of your sketch. Here we create a servo object and call it a test servo. You can give it any name you like. This object lets you control the motor. Now in the setup function, we attach the servo motor to digital pin 3 using the dot attach function. Make sure this pin matches your wiring, otherwise the servo don't move. Now inside the loop function, we are commanding the servo to rotate to different angles. First it moves to 0 degree, wait for 2 seconds, then move to 90 degree, waits again, and finally goes to 180 degrees. And this cycle repeats forever. Now these angles represent the range of motion of a typical servo and help you confirm that your motor is working perfectly. Now upload the code to the Arduino. Connect the Arduino Uno to your computer using the USB cable for uploading the code. Select port and board in the same menu and select Arduino Uno. Click on the upload button. Now remove the USB cable, check the breadboard. First connect the 5 volt pin of the Arduino to the positive rail on the breadboard and the GND pin to the negative rail. Now connect one servo at a time to digital pin 3 and check the angles. Connect the red wire that is the VCC of the servo to the positive rail on the breadboard. Connect the brown wire that is a GND to the negative rail. And finally connect the orange wire that is a signal to digital pin 3. Now power the Arduino again via USB cable. Notice the rotation of the servo motor to all three angles, 0 degree, 90 degrees and 180 degrees. You will need this to define the correct angles for each digit later. Now mount the shaft according to the servo and you can check it again. If it is rotating correctly and also you can note it on the paper like this. Now you have to repeat this process with all servos and mount the shafts. Once you are confident with the servo angles, go ahead and connect all 7 servo motors to the Arduino. And here's the pin setup we have used here. Servo 1 to pin 2, servo 2 to pin 3, servo 3 to pin 4, servo 4 to pin 5, servo 5 to pin 6, servo 6 to pin 7 and finally servo 7 to pin 8. So please make sure to connect all servo GND wires to the negative rail. Connect all servo VCC wires to the positive rail on the breadboard. Double check everything with your circuit diagram to avoid any errors. Now before moving forward to the final coding part, let's do one important step. Make a simple table on paper. On the top side, write the servo motor numbers from 1 to 7. And on this side, write the digits from 0 to 9 that we want to display. Now carefully assume the movements and angles of each servo motor for every digit. For example, to display in my setup, to display 0, Servos 1, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 are set to 90 degrees and servo 2 is set to 0 degrees. Now 
Now to display one, servers 6 and 7 are set to 90 degrees. Servers 1, 2 and 5 are moved to 0 degree which pushes them outward. And server 3 and 4 at 180 degree also outward. Now repeat this process from digit 2 to 9. Adjust each angle based on how your servers are mounted and fill in the table accordingly. This will act as your final reference when decoding each number visually with server movements. Now we are all set to jump into the main coding part. Download the main code and library files given in the description below. Open the code file in the Arduino IDE. We begin by including the server library. Now this built-in library allows us easily control server motors using Arduino. Here we create an array of 7 server objects, each one represents a segment in our custom 7 segment display like segment A to G. Now this line maps each server to a digital pin on the Arduino, server 0 goes to pin 2, server 1 to pin 3 and so on till pin 8. Now these are just helper variables for angles 0 degree, 90 degree and 180 degree. You can use them while writing angles but they are not directly used in the array later. Now this is the heart of a code. Each row represents a digit from 0 to 9. Each number inside the row represents the angle of each of 7 servers. As we have made the table on paper, set our angles accordingly to that on. Now for example, for digit 0, servo 1 goes to 90 degrees, servo 2 to 0 degree and so on. Similarly for digit 1, different angles are used to hide unnecessary segments. This gives the visual appearance of a digit but with servo arms. Now in the setup function, we use a for loop to attach each servo to its assigned pin. This prepares all 7 servos for movement. Now we also start serial communication so we can print message to the serial monitor which is helpful for debugging. Now inside the loop function, we cycle through digits from 0 to 9 using a for loop. This line prints which digits is currently being displayed. This loop goes through all 7 servos, move them to the angle defined for the current digit in our digital angles array. Finally, we wait for 4 seconds before moving to the next digit. This delay basically gives time for viewers or users to clearly see the displayed digit. You may vary this time according to your needs. And that's it. Now we upload the code to the Arduino. Connect the Arduino Udo to your computer using the USB cable for uploading the code. Select port and board in the same menu and select Arduino Uno. Now click on the upload button. Now note here, the servo angles 90, 180 and 0 degree and the pin numbers may vary depending on your setup, servo horn position and how you mounted your segments. Feel free to tweak the angles in the array for a perfect alignment. Now once the code is uploaded, power the Arduino and watch the servo powered segments start forming digits 0 to 9. Now each segment moves just like a real digital display, giving a physical twist to a digital concept. Now this is a fantastic project, you know. To learn about 7 segment display logic, practice server control with Arduino, make some mechanical movement with an electronics, and finally create a programmable display without LEDs. Now that's it for today's build. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for such more creative builds.